What's up guys, Gormo here, welcome back to another episode of Gormo Gang, as you can see on the screen. We're starting off with packing the team of the season. Um, <laughs> this is a problem with me doing League SBCs off of the video because they take so long to do and because I open so many packs, we do miss out on stuff like this. But in a jumbo gold pack, I think this was, we've just gone and packed Sergio Oliveiro. Obviously, you haven't got the whole animation of it walking out. However, you do have it there. He is tradable as well because it's marquee matchup. So, about 40k for him. I don't even know. I was halfway through eating my tea. So, if I've got tea still around my mouth, I do apologize. But, um, this is the content that you get on this channel. So, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. Like the video if you like this craziness that I produce. You might not. Who knows? But one thing that I am trying to do is update the channel. So you may see some changes in uh, a new border heading coming up at some point. Uh, I think I've got a new few like preview videos and stuff. I just want to try and revamp the channel to a real main channel instead of just throwing the YouTube video on and just kind of leaving the channel to sit there. I do kind of want to throw some interaction into it. So we'll have to see what comes with that. But as I said, I've been doing League SBC method, um, the packs obviously paying out. The only reason that I actually did the marquee matchups was because I got a left winger gold common card from the Lee Gun. Obviously, he was untradeable. Went and put him into marquee matchups because that's the easiest one to do right now from a mixed player pack. And then we go and get this from the Jumbo Gold pack, which, uh, to be honest, Oliveira is a very, very nice card. One that makes me tempted. And I don't know if this is a clever idea. But, it does make me tempted in completing Pepe, if he's still there. He is for 22 hours. Now, I don't have everything I need for this in the club. In terms of actual team of the seasons that I have left, I actually don't think I have a lot. And I, I'm genuinely down to the bare bones of, we could probably use Grant in this. Whether or not we get this done by 6pm on today's video, I don't know. Obviously, we need a Portuguese player. I think I have one or two. I don't, but we could probably get Lopez to cover that. If we get a high-rated duplicate card over the next kind of 24 hours doing this, then obviously this is what we will do. And we will get Pepe just to try him out. Again, I don't even know what I'm doing for Weekend League in terms of what team I'm using. Right now... My plan for Weekend League and playing a few Div Rival games for me tonight is going to be using this. Now, by no means is this good enough to use in Weekend League. The, the problem is, the team that I want to put together, trying to fit a Canadian left back, an Austrian right back, and I don't even know what this nation is. Where is he from? Bakuna Fassa. So, trying to link them three together at the back isn't the easiest of things to do. And then, I did go with the Bundesliga midfield. I didn't enjoy it. Genuinely didn't enjoy it. Going back to Rooney, Curtis Jones, and probably having to play Rodri as a CDM. I would have loved to have played Vidal, but trying to get the chemistry, it just... There's always going to be one player on seven chem. I think the only way I can do chemistry is if we switch them two around, pop Vidal in there, and then switch it like that. I think this is the one of the only ways that we actually get the chemistry in the team, unless I did that. I think that works on two players on seven now. I know, there we go. So, one player's on seven in Rooney. Maybe I'll go with this team instead, but I think I'm not going to have a guaranteed team. The rough idea of the team is that, just trying to work out what CDM to use. But in terms of the rest of today's video, obviously we've got the Serie A coming out um, at six o'clock, so we'll go over that. We did get a Haaland animated Tifo, which I didn't go through yesterday. Do I care? Not really. Do I like it? Yeah, it's actually quite nice, but he's never going to get... We're never going to do a Tifo like that on my in like my kind of club, so I don't really need it. I don't really want it, but whilst we're here, we may as well open a pack or two because we need to kind of finish off the whole Bundesliga tot in a very good fashion. So for you to see the grind that I'm going through, again, this is what I'm doing. Opening stuff like a premium election players pack, we don't get much from it. However, I mean, you know how this kind of works but again we've got one player well actually all of these we could use in league SBCs, but all the teams i've done with 
I think I still have Portland Timbers to do. Again, this would obviously help us for the Cadiz. And then we also have a Chicago Fire player. But because I know I've done Chicago Fire, I'd rather sell him on for 350 coins and make the most of it while I can. Because likelihood is, by the time I come back around to it, I'll pack him again. And then, so we just send all that to the club. And then we'll open a 15k pack. And if it's untradeable, then hopefully we do get an untradeable reward. Um, an untradeable player to go and put into an SBC to get some sort of reward from it. I don't know what we'll get, but... Hopefully we got a duplicate at the back. Obviously this is untradeable. So there we go. So two untradeable duplicate cards. Now if I haven't done the league SBC. I'd go and do that. I know for Getafe I don't have a lot for it. So easiest thing to do. We'll go and do a play pick. Just to kind of finish off before we get into the rest of today's video. This is the grind that I'm doing. At the end of the day this is what I want to do. Yes you guys will probably miss out on some of the kind of pack pulls that we get. Or... Say I pack an 84 rated in form. You're probably not going to see that. Whereas for me, obviously I'll be able to kind of add more plays into the club. It's just an easy way of going around it. Now what we could also do is do marquee matchups instead. We could easily use them two players in either two different teams or in one of the teams. But I think just to kind of make the whole process shown of what I was doing, especially this week in terms of player picks. We'll go and add obviously all of these cards in. And then hopefully we can get something back from that player pick, as I said. Um, there's an Argentinian centre mid. Perfect. And then we need a gold card. Rare. And then low to high. And then all of these can go in. Again, most of these aren't in marquee matchups this week, so it does make it a little bit cheaper for us. Um, and also, this part of the video is going on very long, explaining what I'm doing for this week. But yeah, that's, that's part of the whole process. A little bit of a longer intro. There's not going to be too much today in terms of actual content, so... I guess that's probably why I'm just filling a bit of time before we get into the rest of today's video. But one player pick, maybe we'll have five of these ready for 6pm content. Might be able to get around to do that, depending on how many players I have in the club. Can we get a team of the season? We can't. Trapped is going to help us, not too bad. But I'm going to continue with the SBCs, try and get a few more players, and I'll be right back with the rest of today's video. Okay then, guys. So, as I said just before... Today's video, a bit of a mismatchy one before we get into the rest of obviously team of the season. Bundesliga, we've got two and a half hours left. So there's a few little things to run through, I guess, to kind of finish off Bundesliga to start Serie A off and see where we're at. So I think the best way to do that is if we go and have a look on the spreadsheet for the time being. Um, as you can see, I've disappeared uh, because I decided to turn the camera off the other day. But there we go, I'm back. Um, we're up to 360 packs. In terms of what actual packs that we've got, quite a lot have been opened. Not any of the 25k packs. I've stayed away from them this week, so hopefully we didn't miss out on them. Sod's low, we would have packed all sorts, but I just think the player picks offer more to me in the club. In terms of what I needed in the club and what I had left, we could get more out of player picks. So that's kind of where we're at. We obviously start with 400k, we're up to 530k right now. As you can see by this little blue box here. We've packed 29 tots. We've done 112 player picks since, obviously, we started this. Obviously, the 35 packs include the 81 and the 80 packs from the Prem and Bundesliga. Also including the 75 plus packs in them as well. But I've not as many big packs as what I want to open, but it is what it is. And then in terms of what we've actually packed, you know, Taglifico was the main one to start it all off with. But recently, we've packed Salah, Hummels, Angelino. We obviously got the, I think it was Olivero, whatever his name was. Um, so we just got him. In terms of players crafted, we've done the guaranteed Bundesliga twice. Daglish, Gerard, um, the guaranteed Liga Nos. We've done Cruz and we've done Taps Over this week. So we've done a lot. Like genuinely have put most of the club into this. So I think over the next week, especially for Serie A, I'm not too bothered by it. If we get one, then fantastic. If not, I'm not really too bothered by it. And so in that case, we'll probably let the club build up with Bodder again. And then for Ligon, we'll go hard on that. I love Ligon as a whole, so that will obviously be good. And also we'll have the um, ultimate team of the season. So SBC-wise, it'd be interesting to see what we get there. In terms of obviously players, then, we've got Davies, Corona, Amari and Ruslan this week. So another four players added to the club in terms of what we've earned. So we've done a lot in terms of pack value, over 7 million coins in pack value. We've done over 125k in FIFA points now, which is just nearly 850 quid. That's a lot of money that we haven't spent. So I'm more than happy with technically what we've done 
in case in terms of like what we've actually been able to open what we've crafted and what it would technically cost with the fact that obviously i've built the club up over the year to get to this stage i am actually quite lucky and we've had a little bit of pack luck here and there so that's quite nice but also it is friday so we've been having weekend league i haven't played any because i've gone and played some rival gameplay instead and it's not going too well in all honesty nine games played and only five thousand points isn't the best so i think i've got like two or three games more to play that just to kind of seal off getting rank one at some point and then tonight i'll probably do the first three wins to finalize the last icon swaps to then get the 81 plus pack to do for the Serie A. we'll probably open that tomorrow another thing is over on twitter and um, if you haven't seen that link down below I'm not going to be doing a video on Sunday. Sunday, I am in work. And then straight after, I'm going to watch the Liverpool game because I've somehow got tickets. So that's actually quite a good piece of news that today's been going quite well. Another thing that's gone well is, as you can tell by the YouTube channel, I've slightly updated it, added a few different things here and there. If there's anything you like, let me know. If there's anything you don't like, want me to add, let me know that as well. But in terms of what we're running or going to run for this weekend league, I think this is the team, unless we get a massive sbc or a massive objective that i need to play for the Serie A, then maybe we'll switch it around but this is how it's running in terms of rival gameplay i'm actually really enjoying it because of this liverpool theme that we have of daglish torres gerard jones the back line is playing really well i'm really liking alfonso davies him and lazaro are more of an attacking so overlap and get forward it's just nice to have them in the attack but as i said to finish off we're going to take Oscar in terms of because Oscar actually has more of a value for me right now. Um, well, we're going to finish off with these five play picks to round up Bundesliga. If we can get anything from this, great. It is just that last little stint of I've cleared the club out of pretty much everything now. Can we just finish off with something? Probably not by the looks of it. EA are just going to be a little bit stingy. We do get Sergio Oliveira again. So, another Team of the Season pack, and before we get into um, into the Serie A Team of the Season, that will actually give us 30 Team of the Seasons packed over the course of four weeks, I think this is now. So, four weeks, 30 Teams of the Seasons packed, not bad. We'll take him, obviously, because I think R1 is tradable. He is fantastic. So, again, we could make some coins on it, or we'll use it for a guaranteed pack, or an SBC that we need one. And then the final pick will take Marcus Lorente. So, five picks. We finished off with a Liga Nos team season. Not quite the Bundesliga. So, maybe we'll open one pack before we get into 6pm content. We'll do the Mega Pack. No, we won't. We'll do the Rare Mix because we've got two of them. We'll finish Bundesliga as a whole. Not the best pack, but a Rare Mix pack. It's not a walkout. It is boards. So, hopefully we can... Maybe an 85 rated here. Please be Thiago Silva. It's an 83 um, severe player in Carlos. So what we'll do is we'll go hop into 6pm content and go and get the brand new team of the season. All right then, guys. So starting, actually, we're starting 6pm a little bit early. We're starting about two minutes early because EA released, I think it was about five o'clock, the new Serie A team of the season. So if we switch over screens, we will go and have a look at who they have released. It's pretty self-explanatory for most of it. Ronaldo, Lukaku, Mertens, Insigne and Martinez, who I think look actually really, really good. Definitely that Martinez to strong link to Vidal would be nice. Would take out Torres, but would be nice to get him at some point. Kessie, who looks unbelievable. De Paul, who looks fantastic as well. Uh, Muriel, I knew he was coming. I saw him in one of the leagues. De Vries, Hernandez, who most people are now going to play as a centre-back because that's the meta, but it is what it is. Um, Donnarumma obviously for the goalkeeper pretty much makes sense uh, Quadrado looks unbelievable would like to try him out if we got him the Romero card so we had a silver stars of him for the UCL we've also had this red 84 rated card I like both of them so it'll be interesting to see what he's like Argentinian so a little bit easier to link with and then we have Skriniar and Berardi probably the two that you're going to see the most in between packs and that so the in-game stats aren't fully released for it but in terms of as a whole, who I want, obviously the top five would be fantastic. Kessie would be nice. De Paul would be nice. Hernandez would be nice. Quadrado would be nice. They're the main probably 10 that I would quite like. So hopefully we can get one of them. And then as you saw, we do have the Prime Gaming Pack. It has been claimed. It is now 6pm. So Bundesliga is over. 
Serie A now begins, so hopefully we'll have a few things. There's no point probably backing out and going back in, just to obviously see the loading screen. But there we go, Serie A is announced. So we'll go and have a look at objectives first, if EA lets us. Nope. Okay, we'll go and do SPCs first. EA making the decision for us, that is more than fine. So we have Alcacer and Fred. Now, somebody did say this in a stream that I was in. I can't remember who. But this was rumoured, so we'll quickly have a look through them. And Herving Lozano is in an SPC. Hopefully, he's cheap. 84 and 86 seems reasonable for him. He's 4-star, four 4-star, four which isn't too bad. Outside of the foot shot is nice. Very similar to the finesse. Uh, I mean, pace, you don't even touch. Shooting's great. Passing is great. Really good agility. Little below on the balance, but again, that can be moved up. Composure's really good. Really good stamina. The strength is a little low. However, he is only 5'9", so I guess that kind of makes sense. Alcacer, we're looking at an 86-rated team. A little bit expensive on him. I think this is for the final, isn't it? Yeah, so the final between, obviously, United and Villarreal. And then an 83 and an 84 for Fred. So a bit more reasonable in price. I would think United are probably going to win. This card upgraded, he would go to all 80 stats. Probably be looking a very, very nice card if you were to get it. Really good agility and balance, good composure. This could be a card that we'll maybe do. I definitely want to favour him. Alcazar, I just can't see him being usable at all. Obviously, Lozano is very nice. Maybe we'll get around to doing him at some point. I have absolutely no idea. All of these will be expiring very soon, so thank God they are going. Um, and then we've got a Serie A Tots Challenge, a small prime goal pack. If we get around to that, we'll do it. But... In terms of SBCs to come with Friday content, we've got a Fred, a Alcacer, and a Lozano. I actually think all three of them could be good. Alcacer, probably the worst price. Lozano makes sense to why he's that priced. I kind of like the idea of it. But we'll go and also have a look at objectives now, if EA lets us. Fantastic. So we have Tots Barella. Looks fantastic. Like, genuinely does look a very good card. For the Serie A Select, that's fine probably going to be no doubt will it be a full Serie A team like the others have been that's usually how they do it yeah full Serie A team 11 clubs a little bit different a little bit hard to build obviously being very select on who you can use from what club but it looks a very nice card again a few packs back from him as well takes 12 games to do it I think it seems fairly reasonable Um, we also have topped Casado. a little bit harder to link but Seems to have a really, really nice card. Again, for the Serie A team, would be quite nice. 10 games to him as normal with the squad battles. That is quite a normal kind of objective. And then we've got all the new Inter Milan badges and stuff. So, as a TIFO, I don't like the new Inter Milan badge. The other one I prefer, but it is what it is. And then we also have a team's objective for the UCL final, City or Chelsea. Um, so, I take it it's just going to be a case of who will choose if anything wants to load there we go so i feel like everybody's going to choose city i'm just going to take city I, I don't care who wins it but we get a ucl two player uh, two player pack that is i think weird okay i don't know why we've just got that we'll take it and then obviously we'll probably get a yeah the premium electrum or the city stuff that's just not going to get done if it does get done i'll discard it but anyway um 22 games in total for these two cards. Seems fairly reasonable. I'll probably do them from Monday onwards. Not a card that will probably get into my team right now. But in terms of content, I actually really like it. Obviously, right now, we do have the Portuguese kind of, Portuguese kind of troll. In the case of, obviously, Ronaldo's in pack. So, if you do get a team this season, Portuguese. Unless it is striker, you're not going to get Ronaldo. But we'll open a few small packs quickly. Um, just so this video doesn't get too long because I think it did take a while with today's intro and stuff. But Serie A Tot looks good. The one that I'm probably least concerned about. Um, I'm not really too bothered with the Serie A, but it'd be interesting to see if we do pack one. Obviously, I would more than like to pack one. We'll go with a Mega Pack, a Rare Electrum Pack, and then we will finish with today's Prime Gaming Pack. Hopefully, we'll get something from the Prime Gaming Pack. Likely it is, usually not, but... Do you get bored in the mega pack? We'll skip through these packs, make it a little bit quicker to get as many opened. Hakimi, one that I know a few people were a bit disappointed that he's missed out on. Maybe we'll get an SBC for him at some point. Who knows? 
we can discard all of that again we've got no upgrade pack so in terms of what we'll do we'll do marquee matchups as a priority and then maybe some of the daily challenges if not some of the league SBCs, we'll be able to work around with it um, and what we get we do get another board in the rare electrum again we'll skip through it not a team of the season so we do get corona it is tradable so that's not too bad um but again as i said at the start of the video trying to make sure we get the most out of all of the kind of different um trying to get the most out of fodder keeping hold of probably a lot of it this week we don't get a walkout nor do we get a board in the case of the common cards or as in like the rare gold cards but to finish today's video obviously if you are new don't forget to subscribe to the channel put a like rating on the video obviously youtube has changed in the sense of my channel and how it looks but to finish one of four 83 pluses Hoy bird. Fantastic. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. So I'm out. Peace.